What's up guys, I'm Josh from Wrights Woodworks. Today, we are unboxing the new OM Tech 60 watt MOPA compact series fiber laser. Let's get started. All right, so here it is. First thing is, it's a lot smaller than the other crate that these other fiber machines came in from OM Tech. These, the ones that these came in, the crates were like three feet by three feet by almost two feet wide. So definitely a lot bigger. This is about a quarter of the size um, than the other crates. So hopefully there's a fiber laser in here. I have not opened it up. It is still sealed from OM Tech. I have no idea. It could be a chiller in here for all I know. So um, let's get it open and see what's going on. Definitely a lot lighter as well. I do know the packaging on the other that these came in was almost 100 pounds. Um, and this right now is sitting about 70 pounds. Um, the main difference, I think, the finished product's coming out. Um, the fiber's just under 40 pounds, where these are up into the high 70s um, sitting on the table there. So let's get it unboxed and out and start putting it together. All right, let's get this thing open. Got my uh, box cutter here. I sure hope there's a fiber laser in here because promising. There's a ruler like the other fiber lasers. Let me make sure here. Oh yeah. Definitely smaller. All right, hold on. I'm going to cut the video and we're going to bring you around here. All right, first thing in the box you open to is the ruler. All three of the other fiber lasers came with one as well, so nothing different there. Got the, the ruler. Then peeling it back. Oh yeah. Definitely smaller, like I said. You got the, the laser head there. Looks like you have your tower there, instruction manual, stuff like that. So it's definitely a fiber in here. It's definitely smaller for sure, about half the length um, of the other fibers. So, okay, let's get this going. Okay, first things first is your accessory pack, has your USB cable, um, Allen wrenches for various things. Got some keys to turn it on, um, some bolts and stuff probably to mount the tower to the base. You have your fences that you can use. I have noticed that these are plastic, um, look like 3D printed compared to the ones that came with this laser are solid um, aluminum. So that's a little bit different, but same thing. No difference really there. You got your USB dongle in there for the program if you're not gonna use light burn. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. Power cable. Your safety glasses that come, which you should wear during uh, using the fiber laser. Let's see. Down. The tower, which will mount up like this on the base. The head goes there. And then, I'm not sure if this is connected anyway, but let's see. Fiber head. All right, let's see what's under this foam. We're gonna hold the, the head up there, move the foam off. Yep, and there's your uh, working table, um, which is also connected. Remember, the platform under that's gonna be your tower, like the other ones have, so it's all built into one. So this will be your working table. Your product will go right here. You can laser it. You have these threaded uh, holes here, so you can use those uh, fences or bolt down any jigs you make and stuff like that. All right, let's see what's next here. Looks like there's a lot of uh, wiring here that tucks back into the side in here. So we're gonna take this, oh, there you go. That comes out just like that. You got your, all your um, cords and stuff like that. So you don't need a lot of cord on this since it doesn't have to stretch over to the, what I call the CPU tower, um, but it's there. So let's get this thing out of the box and see what we're working with. So we got it out of the box. First things first, obviously branded OM Tech. It's pretty nice. Um, definitely, I like the new color scheme they have going on. Um, what's a little bit different, I don't know yet, but the other machines that I have do not have a rotary access button. They all have three points of contact to turn it on, but if that's true rotary access, then I'll have to look into that. But emergency stop, key, turn it on. Um, so yeah. Everything looks good. 
All right, have it flipped around. Looking at the back of the machine now, there's that third power uh, button I was looking for in the front. It is kind of in the back, so make sure if you set up a machine like this, you have enough room to reach around to the back to turn that on. Um, you have your access, sorry, your rotary access plug there, your USB plug to, for your computer, and then obviously your power cord will go there. If you have the optional foot pedal, you can plug it in there. The foot pedal did not come with this machine that I got, um, but the other machines do come with them, the standard size fibers. So if you have one of those, you can obviously use your foot pedal there, or you can buy one online. So now we're gonna take the tower, we're gonna install it. This is installed by two bolts that came with the machine in your bags of goodies. Uh, with a supplied Allen wrench, we're gonna put these on right quick. Perfect. And next we're gonna install the, the head. These already had bolts already in it. It looks like you can mount this a couple different ways depending on the bed size, the platform, but these came like this, so we're gonna mount it right there for now. And we could center it up. It looks like there's some adjustment here in the, the tower where it uh, connects to that we might be able to make sure when the lens is directly in center of your work bed there. We're gonna unscrew these. Oh, here's my mark. Okay, so we'll snug those up. And it has that adjustability where you can slide it, you know, back and forth to get it centered on your work bed. So We'll just go with this for now until we can plug it in and get it all centered up. So we'll have it snug, ready to go. One last thing to show you is just how to lower the uh, laser head. And just pretty smooth. So this is how you'll get it down to the right focus height between different products, you know, raise or lower it. But other than that, Good to go now. All right, guys, we've got it all put together now. Overall, I am super impressed with how this thing looks. I'm really liking the new color scheme OM Tech went with their fiber lasers, well, this compact series of fiber lasers, um, and just the overall size. I'm super surprised that there was a fiber laser in that small box. I've been, you know, used to getting crates, um, but man, this thing is nice. Next video is going to be comparing this unit to the 60 watt MOPA we already have in the regular size. What I'm going to do is scoot those over, make some room for this guy, and then we're just going to run it and run some tests. It should compare equally in settings and power and everything to the 60 watt MOPA in the regular size we already have. Um, but in the next video, we are going to do some comparisons as far as footprint, weight, um, work bed dimensions. So if you're looking for something to fit in a small space, this could be your machine. They're 20, 25% less in cost than the regular size units for the same amount of power. So it's a, it's a win-win situation. If you're looking for a fiber laser, this could be the one. All right, guys, till the next video, take it easy. We out.